Hey, Rob, congrats on the win in Dubai. Uh, two couple things. Uh, you know, you get the touchdown pass after that sequence where Atlanta might have had the interception and then it was dropped. And then, of course, you're watching that field goal and it tails off that arrowhead win kind of kicked in. Just a reaction on both plays and how that both of those sequences turned out. Um, it was a crazy game. Uh, it was a hard fall. It was close. And I mean, guys were just trying to make plays, man. He, they, he made a great play, but unfortunately, he didn't he didn't end up holding on to it. Then Bucker go down and make a field goal. So it was just. It was just crazy, man, how, how the sequence just happened. And then he go down and missed the, the kick after I score. Oh, man, it was, a, it was a great day for us. Let's go next to Blair Kirkhoff. Go ahead, Blair. Hey, DeMarcus, um, Coach Reed and the offensive coaches will have – or all the coaches will have a decision to make about who to play and who not to play now that you guys have clinched the number one seed. My question is, when you were a younger player, um, did, did you find that, you know, playing in a, a lot of snaps in a, in a late-season game like this, a week seven – team game was really helpful to you? Yes, uh, the experience is always helpful for in, any of the young guys, and it was helpful for me, myself. Um, I'm able to go out and still be confident that I can make plays and still be um, still keep my head focused, even though we're not moving the ball how we would like to. So, I mean, I, I think it's a good good thing. Let's go next to Matt McMullen. Go ahead, Matt. Hey, Rob. Uh, congrats on the win. Can you just walk us through your touchdown? Uh, man, I was just out there. Having fun, man. Coach, coach called a great play, and I was just out there trying to execute it, and uh, and, and me and Pat did. Let's go next to Adam Teicher. Go ahead, Adam. Hey, Demarcus. Um, Tyreek kind of made a touchdown saving tackle. It looked like when he ran that guy down on the interception, knocked the ball away from him. What was your view? I knew you were chasing the guy too. What was your view of uh, that play? Uh, I was actually. I thought he was going to be tackled before he did. And he had a lot of blockers out in front of him, actually. So I, I was just making sure he wasn't going to cut back because I was on the opposite side of the field. And once I seen Tyreek chasing him down, I, I just started running myself. And I seen him poke the ball out. If I was running the whole play, then I, I could have got that ball before it went out of bounds. Let's go next to Nate Taylor. Go ahead, Nate. Hey, DeMarcus. Uh, people will say that this wasn't one of Patrick's better games this year, but just what did you see from him, particularly when you knew you guys had to score a touchdown there on that last drive? Oh, yeah, man. He's a playmaker. He loves to make plays, and uh, we, we just all trying to make plays out here. We love to take shots, and that's what we do, man. And I don't think he had a horrible game. I mean, that's our quarterback, man. He's going he gonna to try to do whatever he can to win. He wasn't trying to make mistakes, and we all make mistakes, and we don't try to. But uh, I, I feel like we just go out and play hard, and if we keep doing that, we'll be all right. We'll go next and last to Pete Sweeney. Go ahead, Pete. Hey, d congrats on the win. Uh, you'll hear running backs talk a lot about if they don't get carries, it's tough to stay in a rhythm. You only had two targets in this game. How tough is it for a wide receiver to be ready for a play as big as you had to score that touchdown at the end? I mean, you just got to always stay ready. Uh, then Sammy went down, and, I mean, I had to go up and take on his role. So you never know when you're going to get the ball. You can get the ball once or none, and we still win the game or lose the game, man. Is no person can win the game. It was everybody blocking for that play and set it up. It was a scheme we set up. I mean, it wasn't all me. It was the whole team. It was all 11 of us.